I was kind of, by the time I was writing them, I was um, in my early 20s. And your concerns when you're in your 20s, you like different things to the things that you like when you're a child. Now, if I was going to write a story for a comic book, I'd, I'd have to write something that I was really interested in. But I'd always take into account the age of the readership. Now, when I started working for comics, it would be, I was guessing, the predominant age of the readership was around 9 to 13 years old, uh, with a number of outliers who were like 18 or in their 20s. Um, but although I tried to write my stories so that grown-ups like me would be able to appreciate them and really enjoy them, I didn't want to write stories that were too complicated for a younger reader. Because younger readers are a lot smarter than they're given credit for. I remember that the sort of stuff that I was reading, you know, mostly the stuff that I was getting out of the library, uh, it was quite advanced, I suppose. Um, I think that we like complex things. Not, not so that they're so complicated that no one's got a, a hope of understanding them. But I think that readers like a story that's a little bit complicated. Um, a simpler story, it's got less, less information in it, or it's less exciting in some ways, because you kind of know what's going to happen. And it might be nice to have a story that is kind of just where you can tell what's going to happen and it's just a simple story and you can really understand it easily. I can see that that, that is nice, but as you get a bit older, you, you tend to want something that's going to give your mind a bit more of a workout. Because reading things, I've, I've, I've got to the point where I can't be bothered reading things that I actually understand. <laughs> it's a bit of a waste of time. It's sort of, uh, if I understand it, then it's something I already know. I'm not getting any new information. Uh, but I really love new ideas. Um, and that will probably mean that they'll be a little bit more complex than the simple ideas. So no, I don't set out to make stories that are too difficult for people to read. I mean, quite the opposite. I really want as many people to be able to read the stories as is possible. But I won't write down to people because I think people are pretty smart. You know, I, I don't think that you should aim... In a lot of culture, people, the people making the culture, they do tend to assume that the audience are idiots. Um, and they give them culture that is kind of for idiots and sort of and eventually you will end up with a sizable proportion of the audience who become used to that material and they won't be that bright, shall we say. You know. Whereas, you know, if if the, the comics that you read, the books, if they're stimulating, then They'll, they'll make you want, if there's something you don't understand, you'll have to reach a bit further until you do. You'll have to perhaps read the story through a couple of times until you've got it straight. But you'll understand more at the end of the story than you did at the beginning, which is, is a good thing. So, yes, any other questions there? <laughs>